Welcome back to my Blues Connected franchise here on Madden 19. Last week we lost to the Chargers 37-32 to in the final seconds of the game. I couldn't clutch up and win it, but it's okay. We have another divisional rival here in the Denver Broncos. We are both 0-1-1. Hopefully they can go to 0-1-2. That would be nice. But we can check out the weekly awards, which means we have a winner. Carol Phillips. Six tackles, two sacks, one forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. He kind of went off last week. He was a very nice acquisition, honestly. Ever since we picked him up, he's been contributing. So the Chargers were the only team in the division to win. So if they can lose this next week, and if we can win, then, you know, it won't be too bad. We'll be tied. Uh, but here's a look at the team. For those of you who don't know who is on this team, I definitely advise going to check out uh, mo the most recent draft and the most recent offseason period. I think that's like two episodes ago and three episodes ago at this point. Definitely advise going to check that out just to see the story behind who we drafted and whatnot. Also, I made the uh, decision to move Oglesby down to the number two corner because I'm pretty sure the way it works in this game is the number two corner typically covers the best wide receiver on the other team. Because I normally, last week I saw Carlton Davis covering Keenan Allen way too much and I don't want that to happen. Watts Oglesby is way better than Carlton Davis at this point. But the team really isn't different. So I will be checking out the injury report and then I'll go over the Broncos roster. We currently do not have anybody injured, and then the Broncos also do not have anyone injured. Let me make sure injuries are on. I will do that at some point before the game starts, but let's go over the roster now. Bryant McCollum is still their quarterback. I'm pretty sure he took over for Derek Carr like midway through the season last year. 82 overall, pretty fast looking quarterback, 79 speed. Philip Lindsay, 87 overall running back, have to look out for him. Royce Freeman is also here. They also have Francis LeBounty, 83 speed. He's not even that good of a power back. Royce Freeman, definitely a lot better. Algernon Brown, the starting fullback. Cortland Sutton, Lester Stallworth, I remember this guy. And David Moore are the wide receivers, so a pretty weak group here. Really nobody who's that good. Tyler Higby, the starting tight end. Garrett Bowles, the pretty old left tackle, even though he only has three years of experience. Ronald Leary, starting at left guard. My computer made an update noise, I'm sorry for that. Matt Paradis, the starting center, or Paradis, I always mispronounce it, whatever. Michael Schofield the third, starting at right guard, and then Keelan McElwain, starting at right tackle. So a pretty bad looking offensive line. Ty Foote, I remember this dude, I wanted to draft him out of Penn State. He looks pretty good, 80 overall, 80 speed, 86 acceleration. This team probably still has a 3-4 defense though, so he doesn't really fit the mold as a 3-4 defensive end, but who knows. Adam Gotsis, the starting right end. Josh Demps, 84 overall defensive tackle, drafted last year. Shelby Harris is also here. Von Miller, of course, on this team, 97 overall now. Todd Davis and Josie Jewell, the middle linebackers. Bradley Chubb, then the right outside linebacker, with Shaq Barrett still here. Chris Harris Jr., the starting cornerback. Bradley Roby, Daryl Roberts on this team as well. Justin Simmons, the free safety. Matthias Farley, the starting strong safety. Brandon McManus, the kicker. Rigoberto Sanchez, the punter. So this team is definitely worse than the Chargers, but we definitely can't undermine them. I said definitely... In close proximity there, my bad, but let's start this game up. Oh, it's going to be caught there by Cortland Sutton, and I dove by accident. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit X. Bryant McCollum, 3 for 3, 38 yards right now. They finally go with a run play, and it's not to the side. I blitzed Philip Lindsay. Picks up 14 more yards. Oh, there we go. Good sack. Who is it? Carol Phillips. He had two sacks last week. Already has a sack today in the first quarter. Let's get it. I'm really excited to see what he can do, you know, with a full season's worth of production. This should not be a first down. It's going to be caught, but it is definitely shy of the first down. Fourth down and five for them. I like DJ Chark over here. He's going to be able to catch that. I, I spun for some reason. That looked really weird, but we're going to get the first down. Ooh, RB is wide open. Here we go. Butler, the rookie tight end. Look at the blocking downfield by DJ Chark as well. Nice completion there to Butler. Oh, that got picked off. That was dumb. I shouldn't have thrown that. <sighs> Matthias Farley catches it, man. Jesus. I've been really bad lately. I thought I could squeeze it in there, but I think I threw it a tad bit late once again, man. Oh, we're not going to be able to get another tackle for loss. This is going to be a first down, isn't it? No way. You picked up 17 yards on that. That's so frustrating. Let's make an interception on this. There we go, Oglesby. Way to come down with it. 
All right, at least we didn't let up any points after our turnover. We just have to get back down there. Daniel Griffith up the middle. Let's go, make a juke move. No, you can't. That's okay, though. There you go, Austin Hooper. Picking up that first down. Not bad. I think I'm going to try to throw this one to Austin Hooper. I'm going to need him to catch this for a first down. All oh, that safety came down to play that really well. He was open. Brayton couldn't get the throw to him. Ah, that's all right. Get back there. Carol Phillips. That's not a safety down at the one yard line. Another two sack performance for him today. And he could add even more to that. Let's get a safety. We got some points on the board. This is not going to be another run. It's going to be a quick pass to Cortland Sutton. I almost ran commit. I'm really glad I didn't though because that could have went for a touchdown. I'm extremely surprised they passed to both of those plays there. Third down and eight. Just don't let up a first down. I guess pass. Have a quarterback in 10 up in case he wants to scramble. I'm going to try to watch over the middle with Porter. And I can't get there in time, man. Cortland Sutton catches it. Carol Phillips coming off the edge again. Almost got back there for another sack, man. This Broncos offense is too much for me right now. I tried to expect a run play there, but they passed it once again, man. Another first down. That's such a difficult decision. If I come out in like a pass defense, they're going to run it for the first down. If I come out in a blitz, they're just going to pass it for the first down. Here's a run play, though, to Philip Lindsay. And that's a first down. I'm just going to run commit up the middle. I don't know what else to do. I feel like they're just going to run it with Philip Lindsay. Let's see if they do. They're not going to run it, and that's probably going to be a touchdown. No, it's not. Hudson picked it off. He's going to break out of that tackle battle. Let's go. No, don't let McCollum catch you. No, I hit the wrong button again, but there's no way. They just threw an interception at the one-yard line. I think they've been watching my videos or something because <laughs> there's no way the computer would normally do that. Third down and 12. I don't know what is wrong right now, but I can't do anything. I'm going to throw DJ Chark on a streak. He might be able to get us back into this game really quickly. I'm taking the shot to him. No! I got hit right as I threw it. Come on. That was a touchdown or at least a huge gain. I can't catch a break today. I did not expect him to throw that. Man, okay. <laughs> this McCollum guy is so good at getting down the field. All right, third down and six. Let's get a stop here, get the ball back, and score a touchdown. That's the plan. Let's see if we can even stop them first, though. Okay, that is going to be a stop. We're going to get the ball back. Didn't have to waste a timeout there either. They should take this field goal, and we can get another shot here. This Broncos defense is giving me so much trouble. I don't know what to do. Let's see if we can have... I didn't mean to do that. Let's see if we can get DJ Chark to do a curl. Maybe try to throw this to him here on the sidelines. I'm going to throw it. He's going to catch it for a first down. We're going to take a timeout here too. Austin Hooper over the middle. Diving grab. Way to go. I'm going to hurry up. We have enough time to do this here. B is wide open. Deshaun Hamilton. You're not going to be able to break out of all those tackles. I'll take a timeout here. Maybe try to take a shot to the end zone. I just don't want to throw a pick. But I do want to try to take one more shot. I don't think I'm going to throw an interception. Let's just take a shot deep to DJ Chark or something. That was definitely one of the worst first halves I've ever had offensively. Let's see if we can make a better second half here. Second down and nine. We're going to run the ball up the middle. Daniel Griffith. What can you do? There you go. Finding the hole nicely. Picking up that first down. Nice start. Oh, DJ Chark beat him deep. There you go, DJ Chark. That's what I wanted to complete earlier, but we could not get the connection. But Brayton finally makes it to him. DJ Chark is something else, my man. I'm telling you. He gets open so well. He doesn't even have good release, and he still gets so open. Let's see if we can hit him again here. This would be a huge completion to him. There you go, DJ Chark. Almost picking up a touchdown down to the three-yard line. This drive is better than our entire first half, I think, combined. This toss looks like it should work pretty well. Daniel Griffith, just run this one in, man. This should be a touchdown here to Griffith. There we go. We're going to take the lead. Aw, oh, Phillip Lindsay's going to power his way for that first down. He's a very powerful running back for being as small as he is. Miles Jack, no! I hit Y. I definitely hit Y. Oh, I swear, if that was Pat Lindsley, he would have jumped for it. It's third down and three. I'm in a nickel package. I'm expecting a pass. They passed it a lot in third down. Let's see if they go with it here. It is going to be a pass. I'm just going to try to watch over the middle. <laughs> I played that so poorly. I was just right behind Philip Lindsay. I thought he was going to run that a bit deeper, but he just didn't. It's third down and two. We just need a quick completion. I think I'm going to be looking at DJ Shark just on that 
little out route. See if he can get open. He's actually not that open, but B is. Deshaun Hamilton, I'll take that with you. Not bad. Fighting with a couple other defenders, too. Going backwards. Okay. Good thing his forward progress got stopped where it did. Deshaun Hamilton is going to catch that in the end zone. What a grab. I just kind of lofted it up. I didn't see anybody else open. I was hoping the worst case scenario there was, you know, it would just fly out of bounds or something, but... Deshaun Hamilton's gonna come down with it. It's gonna be under review though Let's take another look. Did he actually come down with this one? I really hope he did. I can't see that other foot. That looks really close. I Can't tell where his feet are at all So I actually really don't know if he caught it. I'm just gonna skip by. Is it gonna stand? It is gonna stand. Let's go Stallworth way too fast over the middle. I couldn't catch up with Miles Jack. In the flats, Tyler Higby is open for that first down. Their offense is so efficient. They're going with a run play on third down and six, and I think it's going to work. He picked up six yards. It's going to be fourth and inches. Oh, that is huge. And they're going for it. Of course they are. All right, what do I go with here? It's fourth down. They could definitely pass it. I'm going to go with a blitz, though. Let's go with this little sand blitz here. I'm actually just going to full out blitz. See if this works. Is it going to be a pass? I really hope it's not a pass. It's going to be a pass. Oh, no. That's going to be an incomplete pass. Nice job. I think that was Larone Cooper who got a hand in there. I really do not want to let up a safety here, so I kind of want to run it. I feel like if I pass it, I might get sacked. But let's just play it safe here. Go with a run play. Maybe we can convert it. We're not going to be able to. Daniel Griffith is going to go down. These edge defenders for the Broncos are so good. Let's send a blitz. Maybe that'll work. I don't think it's going to work, but who knows? I'm going to try to cover this tight end manually if I can. The blitz didn't even get through there, man. Stallworth has so much room to go. I feel like whatever defense I try just doesn't work until they get near the red zone. Then my defense has been pretty decent today. First down and 10. No run play here. Going to look at for Miles Jack over the middle. Maybe we can get a pick. No, we can't. Philip Lindsay, another first that I cannot stop their offense. This is going to be a play action, and that's going to be a touchdown. I actually don't think there was anything I could have done differently on that drive. They were just so efficient there. First down and 10, starting out with an outside zone. Running it towards Von Miller, which is never a good idea, but sort of worked out there. I couldn't get the throw off, man. Von Miller is just so good. I'm going to go for it. There we go. Ace McPherson's going to catch it. I couldn't hit B in time, but that's okay. What a catch there by DJ Chark. Making up for that drop earlier. There you go, Daniel Griffith. He's going to catch that one. Juke out that defensive back. I think that might have been Daryl Roberts there. Daniel Griffith up the middle is going to juke out that free safety. Oh my god. His juke move is lethal. Let's take another look at this one. Oh my god. Justin Simmons. No chance. There we go. Ace McPherson in the middle of the end zone. We'll score that touchdown. And we also chewed some time off the clock. It is nice though that we have a four point lead. Because this means that they need a touchdown here. We also had an encroachment penalty earlier. So that's why it's first and five. But here we go. See if we can get a turnover and just like end the game early or something. Not going to be able to do that. Tyler Higby's going to catch it and goes out of bounds. They just keep like just dinking and dunking it down the field. And then every once in a while they'll take a pretty nice deep shot that usually ends up working. We're going to cover this linebacker here. Pat Lindsley, hold on to the ball, my dude. That was the game right in your hands there. No, I was behind him. I thought I jumped that nicely, but apparently not. We need to get a stop here. Come on. There's only like 30 seconds left in the game. Can we do it? That's going to be a sack. Exactly what we needed at this point. Bucks Knight are coming in clutch. And they're not using their timeouts yet. Not exactly sure why. We're going to guess pass Shade over the middle. Put up a quarterback insane. They wasted so much time here. They definitely should have just taken a timeout. 19 seconds left here. This player is going deep. I'm trying to make it look like he's open. He's not actually open. And we're going to get another sack there. Third down and 26. Are they just going with a Hail Mary at this point? Yes, they are. Their quarterback actually just scrambled there for the first down because everyone was deep downfield. 
Going with another Hail Mary with four seconds left. This one will easily make it into the end zone. Let's see if they get it. I'm going to be really upset if they get it. Try to be Miles Jack here. And it doesn't even matter because no one catches it. We're going to win this one here. That was very close, just like the first week, but at least we clutched up in this one. We started off very, very slowly in this one, but then turned it up a notch in the second half. Hanson Brayton was pretty good today. Not the best completion percentage, 62%, but he did have 264 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. Had a better quarterback rating than Bryant McCollum because he threw two interceptions. The running game wasn't really all there today. Daniel Griffith was pretty good. Four and a half yards per carry, one touchdown. I could not get Gus Edwards going at all. This Broncos defensive line was so good today. DJ Chark, 5 for 109. Having a great day. Ace McPherson, 4 for 26, but did score a touchdown. Deshaun Hamilton, 3 for 66 with a touchdown. Benjamin Leslie letting up two sacks today. Not great, but once again, he was probably going against... I don't even know who could have been going against. Maybe that foot guy, or maybe Von Miller slid inside a little bit. I don't know. Marcus Porter had 12 total tackles. Malcolm Hudson had 10. Two tackles for loss for Pat Lindsley. Two sacks from Buck Snyder and Carol Phillips. Phillips now has four on the year. One interception from Malcolm Hudson at the goal line. That was huge. Another interception there from Watts Oglesby. I don't think a defensive back had an interception all of last year. I could be mistaken, but I really don't think anyone did. And now two defensive backs got, uh, you know, interceptions today. I just noticed that my statement that I just said about a defensive back not getting an interception last year was not correct. Pretty sure Nick Nelson got one. I don't think there were many, okay? There were at least a couple, but there definitely were not more than like three or four. But the defensive backs are playing a little bit better now than they were last season. I can at least tell that much. But we have a couple players who we can upgrade. I will do that next episode. Thank you guys very much for watching this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like. It helps me out. Also, comment if you want to. Comment any suggestions, anything like that. I love reading comments and responding to them. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.